Well, welcome back for another update with iNose, is a company that is basically teaching AI to smell. We'll break down how uh, iNose turns scent into data, why that matters for industries like semiconductors, and what's ahead in 2026. Now, iNose is traded on the NASDAQ under AIMD, and we're privileged to be joined by Jack Liu, the Director of Corporate Development, to take us through this. But first and foremost, welcome, sir. Good morning. Pleasure to get you back on. So iNose kicked off the year by basically laying out your platform strategy to digitize smell with AI nose. So basically for our audience, why does this matter and why did you structure it this way? Yeah, so at a high level, we're building AI nose to be a platform that helps AI to smell. So AI already does a great job with text, with images and sound. Smell is one of the last major human senses that hasn't really been fully digitized or scaled for AI. So that's why we see a big long-term opportunities there. If scent can be converted into structured uh, machine readable data, then it can become a whole new data language for AI. That's our thesis. So that starts with our platform AI Nose. AI Nose captures scent signals and then convert them into a structured format. We call it smell IVs. And then on top of that data, uh, we're building our smell language model, or we call it the SLM which interprets, classifies, and learns uh, from scent data over time. So to make sure this can be scaled over the longer term, we designed the platform with two clear complementary layers. On the hardware layer, uh, the AI nodes will focus on sensing and data generation layers, making sure scent data is captured accurately and consistently across different environments. On the other hand, scent AI, our wholly owned subsidiary, We'll focus on the intelligence layer. So the SLM AI models and analytics will be under its belt. Send AI will not design or sell the hardware. So simply put, you can imagine just I nose is the nose, making sure the data is high quality. Send AI is the AI, making sure the data gets smarter over time. So we think this structure keeps the rules clear and allows the intelligence side of the business to scale longer term. So we think this sets the right foundation for building a very scalable, durable smell tech platform as we further as we move further into commercializations. Now, you've been making progress in the semiconductor you know, sector, including trustful uh, relationship and early front end discussions. Do you wanna talk about how investors should think about where iNOS fits in the chip industry? Yeah, sure. So uh, let me quickly break down the semiconductor supply chain. At a very high level, this supply chain uh, has two main stages. On the front end is the wafer fabrications, where basically the chips are made inside very highly controlled fabs. You know, in this environment, even very small environmental changes can affect the production yield. So when the front end, think about companies like um, TSMC, uh, Micron, and Intel, they operate here. Now, on then the back end operation comes later. The, this operation covers packaging and testing the chips before they are shipped. So ASC, our current customer, is the leading company uh, at this stage. So we're not trying to replace the existing systems within the supply chain. Our role is to add a new intelligence data layer across both the front end and the back end semiconductor processes. This supply chain already produces a massive amount of data. What's missing in our opinion is continuous structured scent intelligence that can be analyzed over time. And that's where the AI knows platform fits. So today we have a paying customer, ASC, in the back end stage. And we're also engaged in early discussions with uh, leading front end semiconductor companies. So as you know, we already work with Topco Scientific to serve the semiconductor customers. So adding Trustful, which uh, builds the infrastructure systems inside these fabs, actually strengthens our ability to support uh, these semiconductor companies. So together, these uh, ecosystem partners help us embed AI nodes into the semiconductor production workflows. So we think once AI nodes becomes part of the chip making workflows, it can continuously generate smell ID and then feeds the smell language model and then strengthens the AI nose platform over time. And that creates the data depth, the customer stickiness, and the real entry barriers. So this is central to our long-term smell tech as a service strategy, where values come from ongoing access to intelligence and analytics 
not just from selling devices. Yeah, I appreciate the insight. And looking forward, I mean, what are iNose's main priorities for 2026 and what progress are you kind of making right now? Yeah, so this year we're focusing on executions, um, continue to expand the AI nose from its healthcare origins into a more broader industrial applications. So we want to scale AI nose on industrials, uh, semiconductors, and robotic environments. These are our priorities. Uh, these are places where continuous sensing and real-time decision-making really matters. Uh, over the second part of last year, we did a lot of the deployment preparations including um, system integrations, site readiness, and discussing how AI nodes fits into our current and potential customers' workflows in the semiconductor supply chains. And then this month, uh, we start deploying, we are beginning deployments um, tied to our first 2.1 million order from ASC. So that's an important milestone because it makes marks our first shift from preparations into real world operations. At the same time, we're continuing to advance the pilot programs with some of our target front-end semiconductor partners. And uh, now, as you know, we have a distribution partner truthful at the front end with a minimum committed order of 600 sets. And then one more thing. So on the robotics side, we're building momentums beyond attraction in Japan. Our pipeline of potential uh, robotic partners is actually growing. Uh, we'll share updates as we make progress. So to sum these up, in short, I think we're making, we're starting 2026 with very strong momentum. We think as the deployments grow, I think the smell ID data will grow with them and then feeding back into the smell language model and then continue strengthening the intelligence layers. So our strategy for this year is pretty straightforward. We're gonna scale AI nodes on a few high value markets and then execute with discipline and accelerate our data flywheel uh, in turn, building a scalable, repeatable smell tech as a service business. Yeah, incredible. And I appreciate your time today as we pass it off to the viewer. I know is building the data and intelligence layer that allows AI to understand smell. It's an AI knows platform structure, partnerships, and 2026 execution plans are all aligned around that long-term opportunity with exciting momentum for I knows traded on the NASDAQ under the symbol AIMD. We appreciate you taking the time to watch. We'd love to know what you think in the comment section and consider subscribing for future updates. And as always, we look forward to seeing you in the next one.